Hello, welcome back friends. And Larry the Video Guy here today with the Electro Harmonics Big Muff Pi op amp version. This is a very cool pedal. Um, it is a sound. It's a sound, what can I say? Sometimes you want subtlety, sometimes you don't want subtlety. You just want to put that pedal to the metal and go full bore, and that's exactly what this does. Uh, this is actually a reissue uh, of the Big Muff Pi that Electro Harmonics put out for a very short time in the late 70s. And it wasn't extremely popular when it came out. They had a transistorized version that had been used since they, I guess, designed it in the late 60s. Uh, but there were a lot of inconsistencies. I think it went through 18 different circuit configurations during the time that they were producing this. So uh, in trying to get consistent with their builds, they decided to try op amps. Some people liked them, some people didn't. It's a different sound, but it does bring your guitar a little bit more forward in the mix. Uh, the original Big Muff was very scooped in the mid-range. This has a lot of mid-range to it, uh, and I'll show you. Sometimes it can be a little bit too much, but you're not gonna have the same problems of your guitar getting lost in a thick live situation. First of all, let me show you. This is the volume I'm playing at. I'm going through the clean channel of a Marshall JCM 600 combo. And just to let you know, this is not a pedal that you want to use to color your sound or use it to enhance an already distorted amp. At least in my book, that's not what I would use it for. This is the sound. Uh, it's probably, once you kick this switch on, it matters very little what amp is on the other side of it or what guitar is plugged into it. I shouldn't be that drastic about it, but it does. This is not a coloring type of pedal. This is your sound. So, turn everything down here. We have a volume, a sustain, which is really the gain on this. Uh, how much your op amps are getting, how much they're saturating, and it's got a tone control. Uh, it also gives you the ability to bypass the tone control on it. In this situation, I don't know. Um, I'm going to flip it over here, let you hear what it sounds like bypassed. And I'm going to just put everything straight up at 12 o'clock here. Okay, and that is not bad. It's definitely got some mids there, but I'm gonna flip the tone over so we can do a little sweepage on here. And I'm gonna put it up to about two o'clock position. That cuts a lot. Now, you can go to the extremes on this, and I would say this is more for special effects, but you've got it here. You've got it if you want it. Okay, let's go down to the other end. I kind of like this on the darker side. So we'll go to the dark side here for a moment. This is all the way bottomed out on the tone. That has an interesting feel to it. Uh, I like this darker side because you don't have as much buzz that's coming over from the intense saturation that these op amps are producing and it feels like you've got a little bit more subtlety and control down there. So, and of course, let's go here kind of midway on the dark side. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, for me, the sweet spot is definitely over here on the dark side. Now, if you remember, I played just my bass line tone through this amp with this pedal off. Uh, this has got a lot of volume to it. I'm going to start cranking the volume and the sustain up a bit. Now, I will say that if I take the sustain down to the bottom, you get this one point right where it first kicks in. Where you've got a little bit of control over it. It's still much more than just a distortion. I mean, pretty much when this is on, it's a fuzz pedal. That's what it's for. Uh, so I'm going to take the sustain up to about 3 o'clock, and I'm just going to work with the volume here to show you what we've got. It does have a total cutoff on the volume at the bottom end. It's kind of ugly when it first is introduced. Up here around the halfway point, we've got that as compared to that from my amp. Now, just really max these out. I really do like the way this pedal sings on the high notes. Um, fuzzes didn't do a lot for my style because it, I'm gonna, I'll leave it up here so you can hear what I'm talking about. On, low notes get almost synthesizer-like. It almost takes it out of the guitar realm. But I love what these do on high notes. And this could be exactly your cup of tea. It is a great fuzz pedal. I do like it much more than the transistorized versions. But uh, like I say, this is a taste thing. That's what fuzzes are. And as I said before, when you kick this on, this is your sound. And it's a powerful sound. So if you're interested in it, Give the guys at moreguitars.com a call. They will talk to you about this pedal or any pedal. They have such a wide variety of manufacturers and types of pedals. These are the experts. Give them a call. Talk to them. They can fix you up. And until next time, enjoy your fuzz. See you.